All right, guys, Bronco Shorty, base model, Bronco modified by me. So, again, first thing first, first mod that we did, we lifted it. I did the um, four wheel parts um, lift kit. So, it lifted it. Then, I put the methods on it. Method 703. We sitting on them young 35s, y'all. And people was like, are those real 35s? Let's look. It says 35, 12.5, R17. So, pretty real 35s. Yo, we got the soft top, which actually I'm kind of liking because um, I found out that the hard top is actually smaller and I'm a big guy, I'm like 6'5", so I need that space. We still got these little baby fender flares which this one seems like it's coming out. But I got some big Sasquatch ones on order. So if somebody wanna buy these off of me, I got some fender flares that's about to be for sale. And I got some base wheels that's for sale. So if you wanna get them base wheels that came on this bitch when I bought it, then yeah, it's for sale. So the thing that, the only thing, uh, the other mod that we did so far is this little like um, hood protector. It's like supposed to protect you got um, from like rocks, damage in this part of the hood, and then also, I guess, bugs. But what it does do is it whistles. It whistles while you twerk. So if you go to a certain speed or hit that wind, it's it's a cold whistle. Like when I first took the drop the um, top off and and had this installed, I was like, damn, is my top whistling? Is my hood whistling? And my hood might be whistling, but. I didn't really notice it until I put this thing on. So this is an actual Ford part, even though I think the Ford thing fell off, damn. So shout out to Ford for having their little logo thing, not even that strong, because they used, used to have a Ford logo here. Yeah, that shit's gone. So it just fell off. So I'm gonna hit up Ford about, um, I need to tell them about that logo too, but about the whistling, like it, it's supposed to have like a um, lifetime warranty. So we'll see what they say. But yeah, this Bronco show to y'all, this is how it stand. Just in the parking lot, it's kind of early. Stands pretty cool, kind of big. Um, you know, these are keys. Got that young Bronco on them. So, stands nice. That's how it looks when you uh, open up the passenger. Yeah, it's kind of messy. I got hella shit. Just throwing around. Kid Cuddy sweater. You know we love Kid Cuddy. Hypees. That's a hype shit, though, when you just got a Kid Cuddy sweater and a 2 extra large just sitting right there instead of a passenger. <laughs> but you got a sweater. Or if you go in the back, and look, 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 this to show you how hype beats. Oh man, oh man. OLRG, this is probably from college. I'm also into the guns. Oh, I forgot, I put these hats in here. Maybe my chain is in here. I've been looking for my chain. I don't know what I did with that thing. What else we got in here? Oh, snap. So we got, yeah, this is that Kanye. More Kid Cudi, y'all. High beast. So, you already know, I'm a high beast. I'm also a DJ, DJ City. Shout out to you guys. You guys should collab with me or something, you know? Before yeah, DJ City definitely needs to collab with me for the culture. I'm wearing my Jack Car hat. It's lovely, I know. But yeah, we just out here chilling, guys. Just making videos, just enjoying life. Just staying blessed in these streets. Staying blessed, blessed. So, Still don't know if this uh, speedometer thing is accurate, but it's definitely telling me that I probably went in the wrong direction. Like the, um, the one homie Evel trucks. Um, so hopefully, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the 2600. I, I heard he tried 2600 and got it on there. And it was pretty locked in. And then if you guys have any suggestions for like, you know, 
good speedometers that are either super cheap or free, I guess. Let's see how much this one costs. It's at saying that it can, you can get the full version. $3.99. All right, $3.99 is not too bad. Let's get the full version. Hopefully it gives, gives us the accurate count. That's all we're trying to get, just the accurate speed. So we, if we get the accurate speed, we can see if putting in the, uh, the measurements on force scan, if it, if it helps. Because if it did, then we're good. We're, we're gravy. If it didn't, then that means I have to go back. So I use my Wacom tablet <laughs> that I haven't used in a long time. It's actually the um, Cintiq Companion 1. So that's the old ass one. And I got that back when I was in the army. That's, dude, that's probably at least 2013 or 14 when I got that. Nah, 14 definitely. So the shit is like, at this point, seven, almost eight years old. But the computer still works. I don't really use it to draw because it's slow as shit. Parallax, it's, 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 it's not 2021 standards. But for foreskin, the thing is amazing. So if you guys were wondering like what little tablet or computer I was using in that last video, I was using a, a Wacom, a, a Cintiq Wacom. So, speedometer. Okay, now it's asking to use my location. I allow while using the app. Okay. I use the start button, okay. All right. So I'm saying that this is more accurate. We'll see. Because I'm just trying to make sure my shit is at the right end. miles per miles per hour and shit. So, so I might have to adjust it. We'll see. Um, just in the parking lot. You guys want to see the inside Bronco show you. It's not too crazy, but I'll show Welcome to the inside of Bronco Shawty. Let's let's start this up. So you gotta put your foot on the um, brake and then hit that, bam. So we're almost at 700 miles. Fuel economy so far has been kind of terrible. It's 17, <laughs> not, I mean, it's not super terrible, but it's, it's just not the best. It's 17 um, gallons, 17.2. So this is how the base Bronco, this is what you get when you get a base Bronco, guys. You get all of this. Get a nice Bronco logo. You still get the American flag. Like I would have seriously been pissed if I didn't have the American flag. You get this little full leather thing going on for your selector, your little switch. So Buddha don't come with it, but I put Buddha up in here. This is a Buddha that I've had. For, for some years. Put this little uh, phone holder. This is how I film all my videos. There's a QR code up in here. I don't, I don't even know. I've never even tried this, but we have QR code. I have the auxiliary switches. This is literally the only upgrade that I did to auxiliary switches. Everything else is bone stock. And I ended up putting on the uh, 35s afterwards, four wheel parts with the methods. You got the Bronco, the Bronco, definitely lovely. The, um, the base steering wheel is, is adequate. It's, it's probably a little cheaper than the other ones. I mean, everything is pretty cheap, probably. It's really plastic. Got some coordinates to get where they designed this baby at. Mm. Pretty cool, man. People flying through the uh, parking lot. You already know. Good old Colorado, guys. All right, it seems like a lot of people are flying through this parking lot. They're probably trying to get their coffee and shit. So what time is it? 8.03? All right, so we're going to wait to a, to a different parking lot. And I'll keep testing this, um, this speed and seeing if it's seeing if it's accurate. I got the full paid version <laughs> now. I, I paid some money to test my speed. We're also gonna go look for those, um, what's it called? Um, go look for those balloons. If we get, if we could pull up on a balloon, I will for you guys, but I'm not, no promises, no promises. Um, where are we gonna go? I 
should go get some of this red bark though <laughs> for the backyard and do some real shit, but I don't feel like doing all that. I don't feel like doing all of that. Plus, I think it might be cheaper at Home Depot than it is over here at this Lowe's. But definitely need that red bark, the dog, and just like making big ass holes and like putting the bark everywhere it's not supposed to go. But I guess that's what dogs do. I don't know. It's just weird. Super weird. So, yeah, we're gonna um, keep this journey going. I'm gonna whip out to uh see if if we can see if this is accurate my calculation so let's go all right we whipping guys so it's saying seven <sighs> these slow speeds are not accurate they're like we don't even know what, what speed you're going bro <laughs> to watch this shit for me. All right, it's saying. seems like it's still off by like three the other way. So maybe I over jumped it. I don't know. Maybe my shit's aren't true 35s even though they say 35s. I'm gonna go actually listen to somebody from Bronco 6G who told me that I should um look up the manufacturer specs. So I'm gonna go look up the manufacturer specs and pull up to another parking lot. And then we're gonna try to figure out that that whistle is still there and it sucks it's it's pretty loud so ford you need to figure that out boy that whistle sucks and this is from the hood protector i don't know maybe my hood is whistling too and i just didn't notice it because it's a brand new car i'm so happy like oh shit i got a new car Ooh, i took the first miles on it but yeah, so I'm at, I'm about to hit my 700 mile milestone. Oh man. So the reason I'm not at like 3,000 <laughs> miles right now, cause uh, all my Bronco homies, they, they've been, they've been whipping that shit like crazy. And we gonna get there cause I'm about to go to Buena Vista next week. So we gonna, we gonna definitely get to, a, to our thousand mark. But reason I'm not is because I still got my Lexus GX 470. Yeah, that old baby, that 2008, that motherfucking ride had a smooth. So I'll be, I'll be driving that still as one of my daily drivers. I do, oh well, I want the Bronco to be my daily driver, but I definitely want the mileage to be right. So if you guys can help me find the exact millimeter that I need to put in, I think it was 2320 the base tires came at. And then I think it was 2491. I don't remember what I, I put it at, but um, or it's probably way more than that. I don't know. I, I don't know the numbers off top. But we need to find this together, guys. Because when I find it, I'm gonna tell you guys. So let's 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 find this shit together for real. So yeah, I'm gonna just whip. Oh man, I, I see more um, balloons too. So yeah, that's that young soft top noise. So it's saying 51 on the app, it's saying 55 on the speedometer. So yeah, it seemed like maybe it went too far. I'm 
open to suggestions, guys. I'm definitely open to suggestions. I'm not a uh, mechanic in any sort. The only time that I really was learning how to do mechanic type stuff was, um, what's it called? Was definitely when I was in the Army. <laughs> and it was up to service vehicles because we had to do like Monday maintenance. Motor pool Mondays, guys. And it just meant everybody else under E5. So a specialist and below was up in there getting it in. I mean, there were still sergeants out there. I'm not trying to make it seem like sergeants were out, out there. But yeah, if you were lower enlisted, you were E4 and below, you were definitely out there getting it in. So that's, that was my extent. And then, um, you know, I've had vehicles with I always took them to shops and got finesse. So I stopped wanting to get finesse. You know? I, I, I got tired of getting finesse all the time. So, so it looks like Big R is closed. What sucks, because that's where I wanted to go. But it's cool, because I'm just going to park real quick. So yeah, I think that's it for this test. Um, it seems like the mileage is still off and it's off the wrong way. But before it would be like, I it would say 22, but I'll be going like 26 really, or that's what the GPS, I don't know if this shit is uh, accurate. So somebody make um, comment down below, which one do you know that's super accurate? But. It does have me locked into GPS, so I'm assuming it is accurate, but I just don't know, bro. I don't know. So, yeah. But yeah, that's it for this this video. I'm gonna probably make some more. I think I'm gonna go to one of these auto supply stores and get some spray. Um, I need to get something. Okay, I, I do wanna show you guys one more thing, actually. So the thing I wanted to show you was, like, I used some window cleaner. And like an idiot, I put it on the mirrors and it's got it all like some crazy shit film on it. Like, so, mm, covering up the camera. So, yeah, don't don't use the uh, window cleaner on these mirrors. This is probably common knowledge, but my dumbass did it and it, it made it really foggy. So, I gotta clean this off. So, we definitely gotta get some mirror cleaner something get that window shit. So I use a little spit and this um, towel right here, which is a drying towel. Over expensive ass fucking $20 drying towel. And it seems like it's getting it out. So hopefully that works. But yeah, be careful. Put in um, the clean glass stuff, the glass cleaner stuff on the mirrors because it will fog it up and it definitely makes it where you can't see at night. And it's a little a little safety hazard, you know, just a little bit. So I'm gonna um, try, try to get that out real quick. I also wanna um, figure out a good uh, no water like spray that I can just spray and just buff shit out. So I'm trying to figure that out. Yeah, I thought, uh, ooh, buddy, no scratches, buddy. Uh -uh. But you know, they're gonna come. But yeah, I'm gonna uh, spit shine the other mirror. And, but yeah, that's it guys for this video. We'll um, make more content. Today's a content day, it's a Labor Day, I'm off. So I'm definitely gonna be bringing you guys content. Uh, you know, Colorado, mountains, beautiful. You already know. So we're gonna see what's open because a lot of shit is closed. Lowe's ain't closed though, they, they getting their money. Actually, I should have went in Lowe's and tried to see if they had some, um, some spray for the car, but. It's all good. I, I want to go to the auto shop. Let's see if one is open. So actually, uh, Big R is open. So we're going to go up in here. I want to see what um, auto stuff they got. But I mostly go here for ammo. You know, I'll be got to search for that ammo. And tomahawks, you know. You know, I love the tomahawks, but mostly ammo. I need that ammo all the time. I need that ammo. So I'm just out here whipping. Chilling. Make sure show you lot. Yeah, show you lot. Show you lot. So if you didn't know, Bronco Shorty is my Bronx. 
All right, I'm gonna go up in this store. Let's see what's popping. Yup, yup. Up in good old Big R. Let's see what they got up in here. Ooh, they got a little go kart, a little, uh, little, uh, little dirt bikes. I'm gonna get one of these for my kids. There you go. <laughs> this Coleman says it has a Raptor. Boy, 2,500 though. These are only eight, so these aren't too bad. That's actually kind of fire. How much is this one? 900. I got one of these broken in my backyard and I don't know how to fix it. Comment below if you know how to fix one of these. I might get one of those. All right, so got a little ammo. It's just some 22, nothing crazy. I was looking for a 10, but it don't look like they got the one I need. So we're gonna, ooh, let's go see what kind of car stuff they got up in here. They got some car stuff up in here, y'all. Ooh, they got seat covers, Carhartt ones. I'm down to try those. You, you guys think I should put that on the Bronco? Let me know if I should put the car hearts on the Bronco. I don't know. So I'm looking for some uh, some spray. No water cleaner. And I'm not seeing it. I see wheel cleaner. All right. So yeah. No tent, but uh, I was able to get some ammo. So that's cool. Ammo is important right now, guys. Make sure you always get your ammo. Like, stay stocking. It's real out here. So, we're gonna go look for a tent somewhere else. And I'm getting a tent. Ooh! So I hurt my back. And now when I be moving, boy! Oh, man, my whole shoulder be coming out. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if it was when I was moving my DJ equipment or what, but that my whole shoulder came out. Boy, that shit hurt. That's that shit that happened when you.